everyone! Today I'm going to show you this original caged heart tank design that I made. I'm not doing much for Halloween this year, but I've had this outfit planned for months and now that Halloween has come around, it's perfect to start working on it. This tank is only one part of an outfit that I had envisioned in my head, so watch out in the future for how to make all the other parts. The first thing I did was go on Google Images and find a picture of a rib cage and a picture of a heart, and I edited them together on Photoshop to my liking. I figured out how big I wanted the design to be, split the design in half so it fit on two pieces of photo paper, taped them together, and cut out all the bone pieces. I modeled the tank after this one that I bought a long time ago. It was originally just this plain white tank, but then later on I ironed on this picture of Mana from Malice Miser. I've always loved the shape of it, and it fit me better in high school when I was thinner and my belly was not so generous, but I thought with the stretchy fabric that I'm using that it would be okay to use. I bought this really stretchy knit cotton fabric that stretches one way and not the other. I wanted to make the tank so that it stretched horizontally to fit around my curves, since my belly has been growing and shrinking all over the place the past couple months. I laid one layer of the fabric down flat and turned my tank inside out, making sure to pull out any of the little seams. After that I got on my measuring tape and basically traced around my tank keeping seam allowance in mind. I left 3 quarters of an inch of allowance on the bottom of the tank and around everything else I left it at 5 eighths of an inch. Then I used my rotary cutter, which is basically a pizza cutter for fabric, and cut along those lines. Then I did the same thing with the back of the tank. I decided to paint the tank before I sewed it together, so I took the front piece, centered the stencil on it, weighted it down with some stuff I found around my table, and painted over the stencil with black fabric paint. My original plan was to have both the heart and the bones solid. What I was doing here was just sort of outlining the edges of the bones, but I actually really preferred how it came out in the end with just me doing this. It looked like I smeared like ink all over it or something, and it made it look much cooler and the heart stood out much better, so I left it that way. After I had done all the bones, I carefully peeled the stencil off. And with a tiny brush, I got some red fabric paint and drew in the heart, based on how I made it in the picture. After it dried for a little bit, it was time to assemble the tank. I pinned the straps and the sides together, and I sewed them both at 5 eighths of an inch. As you can see, the tank is now sewn together. Now it's time to work on the edges. I started with the bottom of the tank, folding it over 3 quarters of an inch, and sewed it at 5 eighths of an inch. As you can see, the bottom is now nice and pretty and finished. And then I got to work on my least favorite part of any garment, the arm openings. Making the pins perpendicular to the edge to give me some wiggle room and going slowly on the sewing machine. I was hoping I wouldn't get these, but I did get some puckers from where some fabric ended up folded over and sewn over. If that happened, I got out this little hook, which is called a seam ripper, shoved the pointy end under some of the stitches, and pulled it away. After that, I would smooth the fabric back out and sew back over. I folded the arm openings and the neckline 5 eighths of an inch over and sewed it at 4 eighths of an inch. I cut off any long threads that were hanging off of it, ironed it out so it was nice and smooth, pressed open the seams, flattened down the edges so they were nice and crisp, and it was done! I wasn't expecting it to be quite this short, even though I knew I used a tank from when I was a little bit smaller, but it ended up revealing a little more of my belly than I really wanted. In this case, it's okay because the other part of this outfit that I'll be making later will be going up to my waist, but I'm probably going to make another one later that's long enough to wear just alone with something else. In the meantime, I just put on a red petticoat that I used for a Kyari Pamu Pamu cosplay a while back. I really, really love how this design came out. Most of the stuff I come up with is nerdy related, but I'm glad this is something more neutral that anybody can wear. If enough of you guys like it, I'll probably put it up in my Etsy shop for sale, so let me know what you think. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday for another Musi Maldi where I show you all my little creative projects. Bye!